Hey, what's up guys? It's Cam Casey, and as you can tell, I'm back in my room now, which also means I'm back from Hawaii. And I had some extra footage, extra clips, extra little like teasers and stuff um, from Hawaii, and one of them is me nearly crashing my drone. So I thought I would make that into this week's video. And I have a lot of angles of it, and it was pretty stressful. So I'm gonna be kind of narrating as, go as we're going through this just so you kind of understand because I have this camera doing a wide angle shot of everything. I have a GoPro head strap on and I also have the angle from the drone. So I got a bunch of angles for this but I didn't really explain it too much. I gave a little intro of what I'm doing but I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys what happened, what I was thinking, how I almost crashed it, and what I should have done differently. Hey what's up guys? So I don't know what video this is going to go in or where this is going to go but thought I would get all angles of it anyways. So what I'm going to do I'm going to fly my uh, Mavic here, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go out, through here, and out here, into the sunset. You can't see the sunset right now, but it's going to go out into the sunset. Wish me luck. Um, if you're seeing the successful clip, so first off, the whole idea was to give that little like Sam Colder look to this video. So I just wanted one clip and I was gonna take it off in the hotel room and fly it out through the balcony, through the window, past my brother and out into like the beautiful view. So the first problem that I ran into was the light difference. So it was really, really bright outside and really, really dark in the hotel room. And I tried turning on every light that I could to make it like brighter, but some lights were, whatever. I tried making it as bright as in the room as possible, but it still was so off. So I had to set the settings to manual, and that's why you see in the drone footage that it doesn't really look that good, because I had set the exposure for outside, but it still just looked grainy and it didn't look good. So the second thing I had is I originally took off the drone, and it wouldn't go past the doors because it was detecting an object or whatever. So. I had to re-land it or whatever and turn off the obstacle avoidance, which was a little sketchy. But anyways, as I was finally getting ready to take it off, took it straight out and right as I got out of the balcony, it went into Addy mode. So if you guys don't fly drones or don't really know what that means, Addy mode is basically where it's like free roaming and there's no GPS signal to keep it like in the same place. So any wind or anything or any imbalances will just take the drone like flying and it just kind of goes around like crazy and it's hard to control. So while I was in this Addy mode, I'm like, oh shoot, you know, this is going to be bad. I need to get some signals. So I just stuck the uh, drone straight up. And eventually I went so high up that I was above everything so I wouldn't hit anything so that made me calmer and um, also I regained GPS signal back. So I start bringing it back down I start bringing it closer to the hotel because I'm going to have my brother catch it as I land it in his hands on the balcony. So I bring it real close and everything's going well, lands in his hands, it's like really zipping or whatever. And it won't land. I can't exactly remember why, but it won't land. And so I'm like, I'm trying everything or whatever, and eventually I do return to home. But because I didn't have GPS signal while in the hotel, the return to home was actually like 100 feet out of the balcony where it got the first GPS signal. So it was, it started buzzing like crazy, going like max power or whatever, trying to get out of Aiden's hands and return to home back over to to the um, spot where it first got GPS outside of the balcony. So as it was like buzzing his, in his hands or whatever. Now we grab it. There's a, like a, there's a roof above us. We're on the top floor, but there's still kind of like an overhang above us over the balcony. So we couldn't just let it go and let it shoot up or anything or one gone straight into the ceiling and crashed. Um, so I was thinking like, do I just like have him toss it out there and like hope it like gets is good and I'm like uh, probably not a good idea and by the way this is all happening really fast and we're really stressed out and it's just a sketchy situation because we don't want anyone losing a finger getting stitches or whatever just be bad 
So eventually, after me continuing to try everything, I pull the sticks in, which is like a forced stop, but it doesn't stop still. So I'm like, well, we either have to hold the drone until it dies or pinch the, pinch the battery and push it up so that the battery pops out. And eventually we're able to do that, pop out the battery and it stops and everything's okay. There, 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 okay. He's done. Oh god. God, was that stressful. But it was really, really stressful. Nearly crashed it, and I'm glad that I got it on all the angles that I did because I knew when I was flying it, this could go really bad, and if I'm gonna crash it at any time, the time would be now, so I better get on video if I do. Um, but it ended up being fine, the drone was good, everything went well, thank goodness. It went good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet and kind of like behind the scenes of that drone shot and the whole story to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do more videos of this. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crash my drone for a video, but if it happens, I'll make a video about it. But um, let me know if you guys want more like stories, I guess, because I think that'd be kind of cool to do. Um, anyways, yeah, follow me on Instagram at It's Cam Casey and subscribe here, like, all that good stuff. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.